Welcome back to Shoulder Challenge Month. We're on week one, day seven. Today is assessment day. Now, the videos you took from the first day, I want you to go back through, pull those up. It works best if you can send those to computer or if you look at one video, pause it, take a picture in certain positions that I'm gonna go over in a sec and then go over your new one that you do today. Take a screenshot and then compare it side to side with those pictures. So we're gonna go over a few things first. So when we go at and looking at the shoulder workspace, keeping the arm completely straight, when you bring your arm up across your body, that's the first image we wanna look at here or here. The second image we wanna look at is having the arm come across. Most people should be able to have the arm run close or touch the ear. If not, if it's like right here, we wanna compare that angle. Now the side view, as you rotate back and then start to rotate back around, that 45 degree angle, we wanna see how far back and across your body you're able to move your arm, okay? And then the final one is when your arm is by your side, thumb is facing backwards, how far we can come back without having to rotate, okay? And that is the angle from the body to the arm. That's the other angle. So we're gonna go through that here in a sec. Now for the, the scapula, it's best to assess this on a side view. So we first want to check the pushing and reaching forward without twisting the rib cage, how far forward we can go. Next is how high we can shrug up, how far back we can bring our shoulders back, and then how far down we can depress the shoulder. So all four directions for the shoulder blade. Okay, so let's go into the arm. I'll walk through a few of these so you have a good idea with the, the arm shoulder and then also with the scapula as well so i started the first one off with my right arm coming across the body so very very similar both sides now i'll walk through arm touches the ear arm touches the ear so very very similar now let's go we're going to go to the side view image next of the right arm when we first start to rotate there we go, okay. When we first start to rotate. So looking at that angle, a little less than when we first started. And some of this is the angle between the head arm and also the first one, we're able to get back a little bit more. Okay, so take that into consideration. And then the, the next one is how far back we can bring our arm. Let's see if I can pause it here and start to rotate there. Okay. Let's go back just a tad so we have a, somewhat of a true normal. And right about there. Ooh, a little less. Oh, we got a skipper. I definitely would say improved on the newer one, reaching back. How to guess skipper. Okay, so that's my right arm. Okay, now I'll kind of prep this other side here. So coming across the body, let's pull the other video back up. There we go. Okay, so with the other arm, come across the body, per darn equal. Are we able to skim the ear? We are able to skim the ear. Awesome. Then as we go through, skimming the ear, beautiful. Now let's see for the le left arm. We start rotating back. Okay, and then let's go to the other side view and bring back. All right, so both rotations of the arms are different. So we gotta want we want to look at about the 45 degree angle, comparative. So we're getting a little bit more pressing back from the first one. It's good to know. 
And then as we extend the arm and then start to rotate up, right about there. And same thing as well. Okay. And a little worse on the left arm. Okay. So we can make notes on that. Now for Skip, I took front and side view images. The better view is from the front. And again, if you have to take screenshot farthest reaching out. Okay. And then now let's pull up. There is what we want. Okay. How far can we push forward? So to compare both of these two together, tough to say, but I'd probably say with the newer video, the current video, definitely improved, which is exciting. Now, how far can we bring our shoulders up? And again, we're looking right at the shoulder itself, not as much the arm. And you can compare that to the ear. So closer, a little far and then we're talking millimeters, but for seven days, not terrible. Okay. And then how far can we go back? Okay. Okay. And from this it definitely looks like it's improved as well, which is awesome. And then how far can we depress our shoulder downward? Again, all north, south, east, west, based on this view. Looks like it's improved there as well. So left arm better. Now let's see how we are doing with reaching forward here first. There we go. Okay, a little bit better from the first day. So we got a little worse, but again, this is millimeters. Now how high can we shrug up? Let's say probably about right there. Definitely improved. The space from the ear to the shoulder. This is the highest on this one. Space from ear to the shoulder. Okay, how far back? About right there. And about right there. This definitely looks very similar. I'm taking consideration the head's coming forward a little bit. If not, a, the same or a little bit better. Okay, and now let's see how far we can depress down the shoulder about right there beautiful and same thing we're going to check the other side as well okay so comparing both sides if you want to measure shoulder to ear shoulder to ear similar maybe a little worse tough to say so that is the process on how you can go back through and check for the scapula shrug depression how far forwards and how far back okay and then again for the shoulder itself how far you can come across the body can you touch the ear side view the rotation back at about 45 degree angle and then extending backwards before you start to turn your palm facing upwards okay those are the angles and areas we want to measure the check and see where the, the sticky points are, where, where the areas of tension are. And if there's areas of sharp pain as we go through this, I definitely want you to pay attention and mark those. And is that getting better? And again, we want to move around the area of sharp pain as you keep going through. So that is assessment day. Very, very important to track the progress. You're going to start noticing small amounts of improvement or getting worse, but we want to make sure we take the first videos from day one. And then when we end the program, the challenge, that's where we want to compare those two. You're definitely going to see more improvements on extension mostly, but every person's a little different. So that is assessment day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to start week two. Woo, let's go.